Hey folks, welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Dad channel, the land of bad dad jokes and DIY. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to clean these dirty windows. This is a great tip for outdoor windows, how to get them done real quick with no streaks, the way the pros do it, with stuff that you probably already have around your house. So stay tuned. Now getting streak-free windows seems to be like an eternal joke. Uh, it's like searching for the holy grail or finding the secret to a perfect marriage. And everybody seems to always reach for this stuff. This is not the stuff to be using. This is good for bathroom mirrors, interior stuff. There's something better. And that better would be this stuff. Now I know what you're thinking, that is dish soap. And you are right, it doesn't have to be Dawn dish soap, it is blue, so it matches the uh, other stuff. So I guess we're halfway there, but it doesn't need to be blue stuff, doesn't need to be Dawn, any old dish soap will do. Let me show you what you're gonna do with this. Now here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a bucket, but you might not need a bucket, I'll show you why. You're gonna need your uh, dish soap right there. Some sort of a squeegee. This is the California water blade for actually cleaning cars, drying off cars. Um, I like this one because it's silicone. I've got a link in the description below if you want to pick up one of these, but any window squeegee will do. And you'll also need a towel. So let's get started by making the solution to clean your windows in the bucket. So our first step is to fill that bucket with a little bit of water. Now that we've got some water in the bucket, we're gonna put a couple drops of dish soap. Let's put about that much. It's about five or six drops right there. And then we'll stir it. Now you don't wanna get it foamy, you just want soapy water. Now I know I had said that you don't actually need a bucket, so let me show you how to do this without a bucket. You're gonna take your rag, take that same soap, put a couple drops of soap on it, and now take your hose, Wet the rag and knead it up so now the whole rag is kind of impermeated with that soap. That'll work too. Now let's get ready to clean those windows. Now you notice this is a slider, it has a screen door, and screen doors can get grimy too, so we're going to spray that off with the hose while we're at it. But if you're in a situation where you've got a screen door, let me show you a trick. You always want to start with the screen door. You see here there's a good gap on this side, and if you come around to this side of the screen door, there's really not a gap. You wanna start with the screen door on the side without the gap, and that way when you close it across, when you have to clean the other side, the screen won't contact your nice clean window. So now with the screen door in the right spot, let's grab our hose. And wet the window down. Next, we're gonna take that soapy rag Go over the whole window. You'll see a little bit of suds happening, but not a lot, and that's good. You don't want a lot of suds. I'm gonna get that window nice and wet. Get the whole thing. And if you've got a lot of gunk spots, things like that, really scrub them off. And next we're gonna come in with that car blade. Start from the top and work your way across and overlap your lines as you go back and forth. And that is literally all there is to it, the easiest way to get streak-free windows. Now let me show you what I was talking about here. You see the way the screen is actually touching the glass. It's not gonna do that on this side because it's further away. So now we can pull the screen across, repeat the process on that other side, and we will have two clean streak free windows. So if this video helped you out at all, give me a great big thumbs up, go down in that description below, leave me a comment, let me know what else you'd like to see on the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, I got lots of cool stuff just like this, other DIY tips and tricks coming your way, and of course, thanks for watching.